Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Life with Beniza. I'm here again with another banging episode. It's going to be an exciting episode. It's going to be something I've not spoken about before. It's going to be about relationships. I've never really spoken about relationships before and it's surprising, you know. I've done like 11 episodes and I haven't spoken about relationships. So, um, and actually what prompted me to this topic. So I've actually been doing a lot of like life review, just in the brain work and I'm like, I've grown a lot in terms of like the way that I think, the way that I make decisions. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, actually, I actually made a lot of mistakes in the past. I'm going to be telling you some of the things that I regret about dating in my 20s. A lot of that is coming right up. So number one, <laughs> the first mistake I made, it would actually just be just thinking far ahead. So when you're dating in your 20s, try not to think too far because like, I know that at <laughs> in your 20s you're already thinking about oh i i like this person i want to be with them like i want to spend the rest of my life with them and i want to i don't know go on holidays have kids you know have grandchildren with them but i feel like in your 20s i don't think and i wish i didn't overthink things because in your 20s you're obviously learning you're learning and then when you meet people i feel like you just focus like on the now and try to make the best of that time just try to know them, try to live in the moment, focus on the experiences you have with them. The mistake I did was for everyone I met, and my, so I always thought of things like long term because like, I'm like, oh, okay, we started dating now. Oh, how do we sustain this relationship to be like, to last for five years, last for seven years. There was just all that anxiety about, uh, anxiety about trying to make the relationship work. And then it took away, it took a lot in terms of the times we're supposed to spend on knowing each other. Like, in your 20s you're dating you're young like you know you could be in 10 relationships in your 20s so at that point i don't think it's time for you to be really thinking about things too far just try to get to know this person understand that they're a good match understand that it's not a case of oh they're trying to be cute to get you and then after after getting you now they show you a different side and you're like ah who is this person so yeah so i feel like in your 20s just try to live in the moment don't overthink things too far like if it's gonna work it's gonna work if it's not gonna work if it's not gonna if it's going to lead to marriage you'll be seeing signs and then it will eventually leave it will lead to marriage it will end so if you focus on oh i'm trying to be the sustainable relationship blah, 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 you just probably you get a lot of things wrong and it's going to take away there's just going to be a lot of emotional and mental pressure on you and the second mistake i feel like i made in my 20s while dating was just like easily calling calling it quits with people, like breaking up with people. <laughs> I'm not proud about that, but I feel like like when I, in my 20s, like I would literally break up because like you wore a different color of shirt. <laughs> or I don't know, I don't like your wig or something. Like, you know, I'm like, uh, no, I don't like your wig. I'll probably break up because I, now, now I'm making jokes, but I just felt like my threshold for stress was just, uh, and that's because I felt like I was young and I was always saying to myself, like, you know, like if, I'm not with this person, I'll probably be with someone else. Like, and I would be with people and when it gets heated, when you're supposed to actually, you know, say, oh, time for you to prove that, oh, you're a good boyfriend, I would literally just back out because like, I just wasn't into stress. I would break up from relationships because I felt they were going to break up with me. So if I got insecure in the relationship, I felt like, oh, this relationship is turning to shit. Rather than try to repair it and just be there and sort things out, I'll probably just, oh, you know what, I'll break up so that part of it was an ego thing and another was just having a low threshold for stress and it, it's, it's a huge mistake because because looking back i really i realized i really lost out on a lot of great people who would have um, who could have you know had something beautiful together you know if you understand what i mean most times you now realize growing up feel like you know most of these connections that you had they were actually special and if you had nurtured it better it could have led to a beautiful friendship not necessarily end up in marriage or it could have probably ended up in like some friendship or some kind of alliance with this whoever it was i was dating so the third mistake i made was like mostly trying to be perfect instead of focusing on like being myself because i feel like when you meet somebody, particularly someone who's beautiful and you feel like, you know, this, I want to be with this person. I need to like up my game. I need to be the best version of myself so I can keep this person. And maybe I felt like I was privileged for them to, 
<laughs> I was privileged for them to like say yes to me or have me in their lives. So I would feel the need to want to be perfect, want to impress. You try to be nice and perfect for this person and you forget to be yourself. And I, I think you should, you should really stop with trying to be perfect. Like whoever likes you will like you for who you are. I understand that there are times where, okay, there are amendments you need to make, particularly when it affects your relationship. But for the most part, be yourself. Like, be yourself. Express yourself how you want to express it. Know what you like in a relationship. Know how you want to be treated and always communicate it. Um, it, it was a huge mistake I made just trying to be perfect but because I realized the people who actually like you, they don't care whether or not you have, like, pimples on your face or, <laughs> or you, I don't know, or you're short-fused or what. I don't know you're smelling they don't really care they would if if, if 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 what you are is a problem to them they would try their best to actually help you through it you know to make you a better version of yourself i don't know about like people who genuinely like you not wanting to be there for you because of something that is not perfect about you so um i'll give you a scenario of one a relationship where i was in the way i tried to be perfect so i remember actually like one of the mistakes i've made i remember like trying to use gifts to get people to like i would buy them gifts i would um try to be sweet probably send them flowers to their offices and just be that perfect kind of boyfriend but <laughs> if someone doesn't like you they don't like you you can send all the flowers in the world to be honest like it's a good to have they'll take it they'll take pictures with it they'll say i love you but then when it comes to like when you want them to come through for you it just doesn't happen because like there's no love like they don't really care about you but yeah so but the ones who actually care about you whether or not you're perfect like they want to just be there for you and if they see that there are great areas for you they communicate it perfectly and when they communicate it like they tell you about it and hopefully you're able to change so they, they just they walk you through it but when you give someone the perfect picture and they are with you because of the perfect picture you've painted you can't be that per you, no one is perfect so, so an another mistake i made was like trying to be in pity relationships like just <laughs> saying I love you to people because you feel like they're going to be bad if you don't say it back, you know, trying to be in a relationship because people have pressured you too much and uh, you're like, okay, uh, okay, I'll, I'll just date them so that they feel less sad. And because I feel it's just in my nature to want to make people happy and it's very difficult to say no to people. So when a girl is coming at me and um, she really wants to be in a relationship and then I'm like, I'm not interested or I'm just not any place in my life where I want to be with someone like that, you know, so it just feels like, you know, when they, when they put so much, when people put so much pressure, I feel they need to just want to succumb and be like, okay, uh, pity relationships. And it's always wrong because I say yes and I go into the relationship, but you get the worst version of me. I'm literally a douchebag <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm in pity relationships. So like if Obviously, we'll be dating each other, but you're not going to get the best version of me. You're not going to get gifts. You're not going to get outings, no vacations. You won't get, I don't know. You, it will just be me. Like, it's going to be very robotic. And, and I feel like I, the mistake I've made is that I've made, most of the people who would feel like I treated them badly in a relationship, it's probably because I just, not like I didn't love them. I just wasn't in a place where I was ready to be in a relationship with them. And then, uh, at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> they're like, oh, he's a terrible person, or oh, he didn't treat me right, or, but I guess that's why you shouldn't do pity relationships, just because with someone you like, it's just really natural, like, you don't even think about it. I wrote it. I remember being in a relationship with someone I really like, and then I would just do things, you know, just do those little things that, that just to show affection, and it's very, it's very spontaneous, but if, if, if I don't feel like that, you don't get no free spa, you don't get no new wigs. It's just, oh, how are you? Oh, okay. And then, you know, you always have to request. So I, I mean, do these things like take you out or try, but you'd always have to demand for it. You have to. So, so, and that's the thing about pity relationships. If you don't feel in love enough to be in a relationship, then don't be in a relationship. Like if you don't like them enough, maybe you may be too shy like myself to say, oh, I don't like you that much, but just don't do a pity relationship it's always a bad idea but some guys are really like good at you know faking these things and just making sure everybody has a good experience but for me nothing it's one of the things i regret doing the final thing i, f I regret was just being too naive and stupid a lot of times just like <laughs> you know being naive and stupid most times like i feel like 
when you're young, as much as you're loving, I think you need to like use your head and don't allow anybody like mess up your mental health or just make you feel bad about yourself. I was in really toxic relationships and I took a lot of rubbish because because like it just felt good and there was some kind of dependency syndrome in a way I was dependent. I felt like those ones completed me and then I just wanted even when I was treated badly, I would do ah I remember those times, you know, you'd cry because someone talks to you badly. You'd 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 be kept standing and when they show up for lunch and they're like they can't even say sorry, you know, they'll be late, no apologies. Really really badly behave people, but most times I was just too blind to see it. And that's one of the mistakes I made. So I think growing older is been I'm able to separate okay where my head is at versus where my heart is at. So and they have to marry. If my head is somewhere and my heart is somewhere else, I like to I like to be logical as much as I I, I like to be lovey dovey. So uh, in my twenties, I wasn't I was not when it comes to relationships and my emotions, I didn't used to use my head. Uh, I was just like I was I was filled by my, my emotions. I was always acting emotionally, and then that is never a great idea because some sometimes it leads to a point where you become overly emotional that you you can't control your emotions that it leads to some kind of outburst what where you're doing the most like doing way more than you should do and where people treat you badly but you can't even see it because like your whole heart is there you can't see when someone's disrespecting you you can't see when someone doesn't care about you doesn't care about what you're all about doesn't care about where you're going to in terms of your vision your aspirations most times you get so clouded with how you feel about them how you feel about their physical attributes, how you feel about what they complete in your life, and then you forget to, you forget to see that they are being nasty, see that they are not present. You just forget to see a lot of things. And um, yeah, so I think we age. I'm able to, so like these days, when I meet somebody and I feel like, oh, I want to be serious with this person. I've already done the brain parts. I've already done the emotional parts. Okay, as much as, oh, the emotional part, emotions and love is one side of it, but the other side is okay. Is there support? Is there? Can we have conversations? You know, can we? Can we? Can we help each other? I know. Are we both driven? These are the qualities that is very important for me as a person. So, after doing the whole emotions thing, I have to like just put things logically and just be realistic because like you know everyone has to like aside the love part. There's just a lot of things that we want our partners to be. So yeah, so yeah, so those are the mistakes I made. I feel like if I, I feel like if I if I knew better, most of the things I got myself into, most of those like petty quarrels, most of those you know emotional hula baloos, you know, I wouldn't have gotten into it. So okay, so that's it on this episode. Uh, yeah, I hope you learned something from this episode. Even though you didn't learn, at least you've heard my experience. So if you're in your twenties and you're looking to be in love, you need to love, but you need to like, you know, love with your brains and don't let anyone take it for granted. You need to be the most original version of yourself because like, you can't keep selling the fake version to somebody because the person will always love you for that fake thing that you were, that you are. So like, just always project the most original part of yourself. And if someone likes you, they like you. And if they don't like you, then they, they don't deserve you. That's what it is on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. And um, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, this is the time. So click on the subscribe button. If you haven't liked, please like, comment, and share. Let me know what you think about this topic and some of the mistakes you've made in your relationships. I'm looking forward to see your comments. Thank you so much. And hopefully I see you next week on this channel. Bye.